。我想在一个共产党人的眼中认为我是一个罪犯，但是我知道我是为了信仰的缘故。那时候我正在编辑《地下教会》的杂志，但我并不知道怎么去面对那天晚上的考验。For what I would go through that night, the Bible says, "Do not fear." I have read this many times, but tonight I would be very afraid. The soldiers do not ask questions. They do not tell me why or where they are taking me. I am still in my pajamas. I feel humiliated and completely helpless. I have been arrested before, but this is not an arrest. And I'm not being brought to the police station. I quickly realize they have more than questions for me. So alone. All I can hear is my heartbeat, and with every beat, the sound grows louder, and I become more afraid. They have a document for me to sign. It is a confession and a statement against my friends. I refuse to sign and silently pray the night will go by quickly. The guard is angry. His face is full of rage. And I become his victim. I try not to give in, but the pain is overbearing. I repeat Bible verses to myself: "Blessed are those who are persecuted, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven." I'm beaten on my feet and other places on my body. I scream in pain, wondering if anyone will hear me, if anyone can help me. Would signing the document be so wrong? And if it was, wouldn't God forgive me? The worst is over. My legs are chained, and I'm forced to walk. The guards are bored, and they pass the night watching me, forcing me to walk back and forth through the night. Along with my chains, I walk. Time has begun to slow. I begin to wish I have signed the document. I cry out to God to give me strength, and wonder how much more I can endure. Hours have passed when I notice the footprints on the floor. 
They are my footprints, and they have been made from walking in the trail of my own blood. I think of Christ, and how he was beaten before walking to Golgotha. How he must have also left a trail of his own blood. He also was hated by this world. In a small way, I now suffer for him. I am not alone. I am with Christ. Who walked this path for me, and this gives me the courage to go on.